Chris, we're going to do one last question. Go. Yeah. Uh, who was the last outfield player to be selected for England in the World Cup squad despite playing the whole of the previous season in the second tier of the English football? Leeds. Oh, yes. It's a minus one, I think. Is it a minus one? Uh, no. Okay, yes. that, that's good. Uh, Nothing. Yeah. Michael? Almost. Correct. Almost. Yes. Yeah. Right, okay. yeah. yeah. right, we're going to chance that over to Debs. It's all hot stuff. Uh, I don't suppose anything could happen, but uh, let's see what it does. Uh, she's uh, she's using this. Uh, I think she's. Uh, is that an apple mac you're using there? It is. Yeah. Okay. You did it with a quill. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good luck, everyone. Question one: Who might be found occasionally visiting the town of Pencaster? <laughs> Michael. Cousin Pat. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nice. Hey, he wasn't alone. Tony Ashton were there as well. Go. Yeah, excuse. Which boy's name means lover of horses? Oh. Oh, yes. Clive. Philip. Yeah. Go. In the Winter Olympic event called Nordic Combine. Lake up. Ski jump, cross country ski. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Question four, where in the human... Hang on, hold on, just for a minute. I, 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 I know you're making an attempt on asking 15 questions in the fewest words here, <laughs> so I'm helping you, go. Okay, where in the human body would you find the hyoid bone? Lay up by one hundredth of a second, two hundredth of a second. Yeah, neck off throat is fine, yeah. Okay, derived from the Greek... Hodos or Hodos meaning path or gateway and metron meaning measure. What's the proper name for the numerical instrument display in a motor vehicle that shows distance travel? Sam? Yeah, I don't know. What is it, Sam? Odometer. Oh yeah. Hold on. I like your series. Go on. Go on. Who is the author of the Horrid Henry series of children? Clive. Francesca. Ah, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. Go. Sounding like a punctuation mark, what is the currency? Preston. Corn. Right. From Costa Rica. From Costa Rica. I'll send you the way to the I'll beat you off. I'll beat Which UK Prime Minister's homes Included a townhouse in the capital with the address number what? Five. Yeah. Local question. I'm expecting quite a few presses on this one. In Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, volumes one and. Lee's. You bastard. What's he called? David Carradine. Oh! There's a point. Right, just one minute. Laycock's having a go at this. Beatrix Kiddo. No. Just one minute, like Lee's is lost the point. Lake up lost the point and I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, by what descriptive title is the character oh, yes. Tony? The bride. Sorry. The bride. Yep. Yeah. Beatrice Kiddo also not the bride of the flat mark. Oh, oh, right, 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 right character. Right. Wrong name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go on. What is the name of the only lake in the Lake District? Rose. Excellent for it. Excellent, Jess Glynn featured on whose set? Lee's. Lee Bandit. Yeah, rather big. 2014. Born in Preston in 1970, he was elected as the leader of his political party in the summer of 2015. Chris? Um, Jeremy Cohn? No. Uh, have you finished question? No. Right, so Chris, I'll let... But look, calm down! <laughs> I can hear you! Uh, Ashton? Baron? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm saying be Go on. Okay. 
what is the only European national capital whose English name begins and ends? Mark Lee's Oslo. Uh, Preston. Warsaw. Yeah, with the same consonant. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking at Michael. Preston, you get the points there, yeah? Yeah. Well, you just be disemboweled. <laughs> Go on. The painting, Liberty Leading the People. <laughs> Tony. Tell the fact. Nine to one. Finish the question. Oh. Ashton. Marianne. Uh, Sam. Charles the Tan. Five. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Preston. Oh, so I've got another answer. No. Preston. No, Go on then. Okay. The painting Liberty Leading the People is by Eugene Delacroix. Right, in the painting, a personification of Liberty holds a musket in one hand. What does she hold in the other? Yeah. Preston, have you been? Leaf, a skull. Chris, an olive branch. Giles, love of bread. What? Love of bread. No. Lake up. Dildo. <laughs> 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 you took mine out with all the friends. Rose? Flowers. Daniel? Flag. Michael? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, flags. 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 Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hello, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Yorkshire. Here we go. And I think I've just got one more. That's all. What was the alter ego of Sylvester Sneakly? Lake up. <laughs> and finally, I'll get you Bruce Sullivan. Oh, here we go. You're so pedantic up there, you guys. Uh, South Shields. Uh, uh, by the way, before we go, this is Daniel Fullard. He runs the uh, Quiz Addicts uh, blog, which is quite interesting reading when he keeps up with it. <laughs> but also, uh, basically, you can go to uh, uh, Amazon, you can download quiz books, which I do quite a, well, a bit of with an effort to collating them all. And some of them are rubbish, and you get all the same questions again and again and again. And now I'm putting these quiz books, big ones with 5,000, 10,000 questions in, in the database, and I say, repeat, and it finds 2,000 repeats without even the commas missing and stuff like that. But Daniel's books are all very good handcrafted questions. So, Pay a pound for one, what the fuck? Just get one, they're great. Sorry Daniel, let's do this. No, they're good, I recommend it. This company is the world's largest producer of uranium. In 1991 it was the last of the Soviet... Oh, Sorry, Daniel. Yeah, Sorry, Daniel. Yeah, 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 Daniel. Yeah,
Michael. Is it another lodge? No. <laughs> okay, you got Michael minus one. That's a bit too early for yeah. Preston. Having the ball. No. Laycock. No. Leave. Come on. Oh, I'm going to. Yes. Chris. Yes. No. Tony. I was going to say Camden Ball, but. Come on. Followed by success on new faces in 1974. In 2009, they celebrated the 20th anniversary of the. Oh. Ashton. Chuckle Brothers. Chuckle Brothers, yeah. Oh, 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 what oh, was saying to me? He was saying to me. He was saying it. He was saying it. I just read the answer to my own fiction. I just picked the book. No, but yeah, you have to read it, Joey, you bastard. No, right, <laughs> Ashton. Two points. And he, Ashton doesn't even need these points. <laughs> Go on. Winning the 1985 BAFTA Award for Best Picture, which Woody Allen film for. Kid. Annie Hall. No. Nope. I know what it is about leaves. Sleepers? No. Oh. Mind the sleepers. Tony? Hand on the sisters? No. Oh. I got so Steve, Lee's, Tony, Giles. Manhattan? No. Oh, that's what I thought it was. The Miles Atlas. Right. It follows the story of Tom Baxter, a character within a movie who pops out of the cinema screen in the real world. Clive? Purple Rose and Kerr. What is it again, please, Clive? Right. I've heard the name, but. It was a sentence. This classical composer won the 2003 Pulitzer Prize for On the Transmigration of Souls, which was the choral piece commemorating the September 11th attacks. He is perhaps most known for his operatic works, including Doctor Atomic in 2005. Clive Adams. John Adams, yeah. Oh, Dixon and Chen. In which decade did the following events occur? The last emperor of Germany began his reign. Coca-Cola was invented. Clive. 1880s. 1880s. Oh, I can't believe it. In November 2013, this painted work entitled Three Studians of Lucy and Freud. So for Bacon. Bacon. Yeah. Yeah, I've got you that time. <laughs> yes. Which romantic drama series first aired on BBC One in 2012 follows the story of two childhood sweethearts who meet? Lake Up! Hit number one in May 1988. Hold it, hold it, hold it. In May when? 1988, as part of a double A side, a cover of which Beatles song gave Billy. Where's Tony? She's leaving home. Yes, yeah, she's leaving home. Somebody, somebody, don't they? Ready? No. Yes. Currently the assistant coach at Derby County. Who? Oh, Sam. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Minus one. Okay. Minus one in like the last five rounds. Who is the only Englishman to win the European Golden Shoe? A feet, feet. Clive. Kevin Phillips. Kevin Phillips, yeah. No, no, no. One. How many to go, please? Two. One of the few people who have won an Oscar. Hold it, hold it, reset, reset, reset. Thank you. One of the few people who have won an Oscar, an Emmy, a Tony, and a Grammy. Who is the only female singer? Sam. Well, go back with your previous answers, Rise. Australia. Got good memory in some cases. <laughs> Last one. Running since 2000. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's just have a look at the score. No, go on. Let's go this one. Running since 2009, which US sitcom centres on Los Angeles resident? Lee's. Got to be a big bang food. No. Minus what? Yeah, I was going to go for that. I'll go for. Um... Chris? Oh, can't say anything. Go on. So, focus is on Los Angeles resident Jay Pritchard, his Colombian second wife, Gloria. Sam? Modern family. Modern family, yeah. Right, so uh, what we'll do is, uh, well, if you remain seated for the time being, not just rush off, because what I'm going to do is uh, just stop that. Uh, the slight speed quiz, uh, not only is it attracting some fantastic players and uh, such a high quality calibre of competition, Sam was saying to me a few, you know, half an hour ago, that basically we're going through round after round and we're not getting points. It's, we've been spoiled before, we really have, and now you come here, the bar is basically so high. But with the handicaps as well, uh, it means that the scoring is incredibly tight. 
And uh, so we'll go through the cross competition first, and you can see that at the top of the board, uh, in first place, by only two points, it's Tony Walmsley from Clive Lane. So, you have to have a pause after you, Tony. And uh, what's more important is the money. Who wants to win the growth competition? Uh, the money. Uh, Steve Rhodes with a great late comp. Uh, got 15, 15 pounds for third place uh, on the growth 45. Only a single point behind Mike Lee on 46. Uh, We all expect to do great things with a generous handicap. Uh, he's, he won't be anything special. Give him a round of applause.